Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today, everyone, I'm here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Geminis watching. So if you have Gemini as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Your person, Gemini, is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get into this reading, please keep in mind this is a general reading for my Gemini's watching, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Gemini, so let's go ahead and see what messages we have from your person, also just messages regarding the connection you may be in right now. So I'm going to put this card back in since it did just fall out. Alright, so we do have four cards to begin with. First card we have, you made me feel like I was the reason to blame. Love me or lose me. I feel angry towards you because I really cared. I miss what we had so bad, I wish I could have it back. So also Gemini, please keep in mind, if I'm speaking from your person's perspective, that could be how you feel the roles could be reversed, just however this reading resonates for you. This is also a timeless love reading, so any energy I'm describing throughout it can apply to the past, the present, the future of your connection. And if you're not connected to anyone at this time, this could be someone from your past or someone who's coming towards you. But so far Gemini, I do feel like this is past energy. Um, I feel like you were dealing with a person that first blamed you, that's the, far, the first card that came out, but they blamed you, but when they blamed you, they weren't even addressing the reason why this tension, they weren't addressing the problem. I feel like they went straight to you, Gemini, and because maybe you confronted them about it, or maybe you made it known that because whatever happened would be the last and only time it happened they they took that and turned it into defense because they didn't want to lose you Gemini I feel like maybe they were thinking that their actions against you wouldn't be seen so we had or we have you made me feel like I was the reason to blame and we also have love me or lose me I feel like these two cards Gemini are your energy for this connection I feel like you whatever happened happened and of course we'll know more with the cards next to come but once that happened there there was no turning back for you Gemini because it's like you couldn't get over this person's actions because this one action that they did it kind of erased all the history that you had with this person in your mind because a person wouldn't go behind your back or they wouldn't do that towards you so you chose love me or lose me you chose lose me this person wasn't loving you correctly or the action that they did wasn't in love so i feel like they did lose you in this this connection but then we have your person's energy here i feel angry towards you because i really care this could also be your energy gemini but i feel like this is your person's energy specifically because I feel like they took it out on you when this separation happened. They they definitely held some type of grudge because they didn't think that whatever happened would be addressed, like it wouldn't be found out about. And they weren't expecting for you to cut them off so quick, Gemini. So the fact that they can't have you back there, they're angry about that. There could be definitely some ego involved on their part because I don't think they 
address the the situation correctly they didn't apologize they because you were angry at them first gemini they turned angry towards you i miss what we had so bad i wish i could have it back this is also your person's energy gemini um i do feel like they could be trying to get back into your life but i feel like either you gemini you've been ignoring them or you simply wouldn't know because you block them you just don't want to hear about them anymore um but i could also see this person being the type to like have people reach out to you um maybe some like fake pages trying to see what you're up to uh some unknown callers um so that might resonate for some of my gemini's out there So next three cards we have, you're all I need. I've wanted this with you from the start. I've got your back. You are good with me. New love coming in when you least expect it. So Gemini, I'm not, I think this card could have been in your reading last week, the new love coming in. Um, but we have your all I need. I've wanted this with you from the start and I've got your back. You're good with me. I feel like this one card right here is your person's energy. Um, whatever action they did, I know I keep saying this, but they thought it was going to smooth over. Things were going to come to light, but you Gemini, like, they, I feel like they didn't think that this was going to go so well with you. Um, I thought maybe they felt as though you were going to not have real interest for them or they were maybe just insecure about you being with them all together and knowing you. Um, but I feel like this person, because they thought in their head, even if you didn't give them the, the idea of this, because they thought at any moment Gemini could drop interest in me. I feel like they were testing their limits, seeing what they could get away with, but obviously they didn't get away with much. Um, but your love towards them was very fulfilling. This is like a love that I don't think they ever imagined having for themselves, or at least in the moment, in the present. Um, so you gave them a love that no one else has really given them and because they feel like they'll never have it back again they're missing you even more they also felt very secure with you we have i've got your back you are good with me this is how they felt about you gemini or this is how you were treating them um i feel like this is a person you wouldn't ignore if they were texting you if they were calling you even if now looking back at this connection you are realizing some of their actions were over the top. Maybe they did come off needy. Um, you didn't really think much of it at the time, but I feel like you're realizing how their energy was towards you, Gemini. Even if in the moment getting to know this person, you were enjoying your time with them. I feel like now that you've distanced yourself from this connection, you might realize that you have more time to yourself and the feeling I'm trying to describe is when you're so consumed with someone's energy because you enjoy being around them but sometimes being consumed in a person's energy like that could be draining for us because we're we're thinking about them we're doing more things for them and taking away the time that we use on our on ourselves um, so I do feel like this person trusted you, Gemini. They thought you were very reliable, um, and I feel like you were maybe one or maybe a few people out of their life where they felt this way about, but you, Gemini, you also had that loving, intimate energy as well. So they're really missing you as a lover and also as a friend. All right, so last two cards we have. You won't ever have to question my love for you. How I treat you is exactly how I feel. 
communicating is not hard. You must not care enough. So you won't ever have to question my love for you. How I treat you is exactly how I feel. I feel like this is your energy, Gemini, towards this person. Um, like I said, they were maybe a little bit skeptical of you at first, Gemini, because they didn't trust that your actions and your energy towards them was real. Because I do feel like they are insecure. They have some ego in the way. Um, just also jealousy could fall into this too. Um, but they, they started to realize that your actions and your energy, it was consistent. Um, so they kind of got lost. They got lost somewhere in this, separating the real reasons to get to know you, Gemini. The real reasons to get to know you versus what can I get from Gemini? Like, how, how can I treat Gemini the same as other people? Like, they didn't get those those two categories clear because I do think that they came in and did something towards you or this connection. Communicating is not hard, you must not care enough. I do feel like this is your your words to your person, Gemini. Um, I feel like overall thoughts that you might have about this person is that they're, they're fake or how could you be in my face and meanwhile you're still doing things on the side that I wouldn't be okay with if I were to know about off the top. So I feel like right now you, you're you wishing that this person could have been honest but you also know that they probably wouldn't have been honest because they were involved with you and you were looking for something more serious. They were still stuck in the low vibrational movements or actions. And especially when the truth came out, I feel like they did blame you, Gemini. And I'm not saying that you would have given them a second chance, but the way they ended it or left it, it made you not want to give them a second chance. But that's all I do have for my Geminis today. I do hope this resonates. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.